In this video, I want to go over a few quick tips that can really help whenever you are experimenting inside of 3D Coast Sculpt Workspace. Let's say, for example, you want to create some twigs on the side of Baby Groot's head, or maybe some little sprouts. It's going to take a bit of experimentation to get the right tool, the right settings, and so on. If I were to try to do it from this Baby Groot layer, then after going through several iterations, I'd have to undo, 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 and that can be very tedious and time consuming. So another option would be to select or create a new layer and build off of that. So let's go ahead and give that a try real quick. I'm going to use the spikes tool. And you'll notice how it flashed red. Why did it do that? Well, in the geometry menu, we have an option called highlight. By default, it will be white. I chose mine to be red, so it's easy to see. And that told me that it arbitrarily switched me from this layer to the baby group layer. And as I mentioned, that is not what I want. I don't want to have to keep undoing over and over and over and over again. So let's undo this time. We'll go back and we'll make another attempt. Whoop, there it goes again. So what's causing that? It's actually the auto pick feature and that is very helpful in the right scenario. But in this situation, it's a big pain in the bumpkus. Where auto pick would help is if you have a lot of different objects in the scene and you do want to be able to quickly switch between them while you're sculpting without having to constantly go and search for it inside your Vox tree layer panel, especially if you have a lot of child layers. That can be very tedious. So in the right situation, auto pick is really helpful. But in situations like this, it's just the opposite. So let's uncheck that and let's try it again. Let's choose our separate layer. Now, Shazam. That's what we wanted. Okay. So maybe we want to get that natural twig look. Okay, and we can clear that. Instead of deleting the layer and creating a new one, which you could, but again, that can be time consuming, especially if you have to increase the resolution in order to keep the shapes that you're after. We can clear the object from the layer and keep the layer intact by clicking the little X icon. Even still, when you're doing a lot of iterations, Instead of multiple undos, we may want something even faster. From the time that we think about it, all we have to do is hit a single hotkey to clear it. How would we go about doing that? Well, you can hover over this and hit the end key to assign a hotkey to it. So when we do that, my first inclination was to choose the delete key. Let me go ahead and hit escape. If I were to assign delete to it, What's going to happen is when I try to texture paint, there is an option to where, uh, let's change my brush off here. Let's say I do some painting here and I change the colors. I'm going to do some more experimenting. And I said, you know what, uh, let's clear that too. The clear of this and the paint workspace, the default action is to hit the delete key. Whatever channels we have enabled, that's what will be deleted. So I want to leave that intact. If I assign the delete key to this, it's going to overwrite that. And I don't want that to occur. We need to change this to something else. So let's hover over that and hit the end key on the keyboard. And maybe something 
in the same vicinity as the delete key. Let's try the page down key, because that may not be assigned to anything. If it is, 3D Coat will tell us that it's assigned to something. Do we want to override it or not? So I'll hit page down, and obviously it's not assigned to anything. So there you go. Now let's go ahead and go back to this layer. It switched to surface mode. I'm going to go back to voxel mode. Let's try 1 million. Okay. And to clear that, let's hit our page down, and there we go. So go back to our spikes tool and continue iterating. See what works best. Uh, we can adjust our smoothing speed and just keep working that way. Page down where we want to clear it. And then again, page down, it's gone. So I hope you found these tips helpful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.